Not quite ready to roll up your sleeve for the next shot? You could have what's now called vaccine fatigue. It's sort of the opposite of what Kimberly's doing here at this Ohio COVID-19 booster clinic. They made the shot available, so I made that decision to get it. Vaccine fatigue is the inertia or inaction to any vaccine information or suggestion right now, mainly due to burnout. According to the CDC, it's such a growing problem. In the last flu season, public health providers saw a big drop in both adults and kids. The lowest flu vaccination coverage we have seen in children in the last eight seasons. In fact, a survey just conducted by the National Foundation for Infectious Diseases found less than half of us plan to get a flu shot this season, even though 7 in 10 of us know it's the best way to protect against the flu. More of us instead said we plan to wear a mask this season for protection. The problem, however, with that thinking, according to emergency preparedness specialist Krista Heisen, we want to have the best, you know, efficacy towards preventing disease as possible. While masks are good for protection, vaccines are better. A study released overnight on the new COVID-19 booster shows the shots could prevent about 90,000 U.S. deaths this winter, but only if more people get them. Researchers found if 80% were to get a booster, it would prevent more than a million hospitalizations in the next six months. But if boosters remain at the current pace, Researchers say potential winter surges could bring a peak of about 16,000 hospitalizations, 1,200 deaths per day by March. Feeling fatigued? Kimberly reminds us getting sick is tiring too. I just felt like it's my duty to do the most I can to try to sustain my life and live as long as I can. Good for her. Typical vaccine immunity cycles, by the way, kind of like the flu season. Usually the best protection runs about four to six months. Adam?